Vito says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. TV?
got anything for me today? What the fuck is that? I just don't want to get down there on the show. Morrison can't keep his freak in his pants. Fucking make a working man wait. You are too much. Leave the fucking doors. It's gonna be a gap. The fucking doors, man. I still need to get you back for the kid. Make a working man wait. Give me your money. Don't make me sit. Fuck you doing back here. He had to go this way. Turn the TV off as soon as the captain put his mouth on Uhura. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. I let my kid watch a white man kiss a black woman, and I gotta hear it from her, her dad, her brothers, and a whole fucking clamor. No thank you. Might have seen something. Here comes a whooping. Get out of here. Gonna take more than you. He was there, right? Got you now, dipshit. It's all yours, boys. It's all him. Let's go. He's here. Set his ass on fire. Let Molotov go now. Get your ass around him. No.
I'm still here, motherfucker. As good a job as you've done slowing work at the dock union, I'm pro Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. Especially with Mr. Toretto. Now you be wise to show some respect. Job. You're buying the fucking work permits? What's the point of that? Can't we just print up some more? Jesus Christ, look, that's how it works. Those little slips of paper tell us who owes what. Making us look weak. To who? The working men. They see us getting fucked. I don't like this. I ain't ever gonna stop looking. Where you want to get shot? God damn it! I'll get the boys down here! Don't you know your name? Hit him from. Say goodnight to the asshole. Stop! 
Either you kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here... The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. 